Oh my goodness, guys, look what's working again. I can't even believe it. We are back in action. It has been forever since I have seen this city, it seems like. But, my goodness, look, since the uh, the game was updated and all the pathing was fixed for the um, pedestrian pathways and all the um, custom assets and the uh, bike paths and everything, the CPU is no longer being totally hogged, which is great, so that my computer can basically breathe again. And, uh, since I'm recording now with Shadowplay, the, uh, the game runs a lot smoother. And, oh my goodness, I can't even believe it. We're back up and running! This is absolutely crazy. I can't even contain my enthusiasm here. Oh my goodness, where do I even begin? Alright, so, um, since Snowfall, obviously there's been quite a few updates. Um, more specifically, um, we should see it rain and, like, that kind of stuff in the city, which is, like, super cool. Oh boy, oh boy, we have so much to do. Where do we even begin? Okay, well, I guess for starters, we can start to incorporate a, um, a bit of a tram network. That's kind of the highlight of the uh, Snowfall update, definitely. I know we were working last on our, um, uh, you know, university campus over here, and I definitely want to return to that. We've got some cool uh, suggestions. Um, and there's some things, actually, I want to move around right away, so maybe if there's time, we'll kind of... Actually, you know what we could do? I take this back. Here's my new plan. Um, what we should do is work a... Um, a tram line over to the university campus. Let's go from here and let's just kind of make our way over to say like the main transportation hub and we can do some changes over there to a certain extent and then maybe add some tram lines. Just a little bit of a turnaround point. Oh boy, oh boy, this is gonna be so crazy. We have so much to do. And where do we even put that? My oh my. Okay, well, um, before anything else happens, let me show you what I was doing uh, last episode just kind of in between right before the snowfall update came out because uh before i was recording with shadowplay i was still using like fraps or obs and that was just so demanding on the system and shadowplay is not reliant on the gpu well not really because like the gpu uh, no sorry it's not reliant on the cpu oh my goodness my, i sound terrible now right so my cpu the i7 can just basically power the game and just does minimal you know minimal effort on the uh on the gpu that that can kind of the graphics card usually just kind of powers itself Obviously, it gets dictation from the uh, the CPU, but you know what I mean, right? The load is being lessened. Anyhow, so I, I tried to record this while I was building it, but it was a little bit too laggy. And obviously, Shadowplay kind of, you know, eliminates that problem, which is why I'm using this. So let me show you what I was working on. Basically, it's a, um, a little bit of a freight yard right here. And we got some custom assets. We got some cool storage tanks. And uh, just, you know, fun places to kind of, you know, house goods. And most of this is industry mixed in with some offices, so it should look kind of cool once it's all filled in. And I made this really neat little train yard. I have to turn on the uh, No Seagulls mod. Forgot to turn that on. Some of the mods are still a little bit incompatible. This was kind of neat. And we still got to get some lighting through here. So this was all just a little bit of a test, right? To see if I can get some a bit of train yard working just in general. But it's kind of fun. I enjoy the way this kind of just came together. So it wasn't a whole lot of building in between the last episode and this one. But I might, you know, sneak in some off-camera stuff here and there. And I've been doing that a lot with the um, Snowfall episode. My goodness, it's so great to see the city again, isn't it, guys? Holy smokes. And I don't remember if I turned these mods on or not. Yeah, no, I forgot to turn the Brooklyn mod on. So we just got regular buildings over here. But again, like, there's, you know, still a few issues. The um, Fine Heights mod isn't working right now. The terraforming isn't working. So there's a few things we still need to, uh, to change. <clears throat> oh, and, my goodness, there is... Um, Something else that I wanted to... What was it I was working on before? There was... Yeah. Oh, of, co of course. Goodness, goodness. Um, I was saying this in the little episode to the update one. There's all these roads here, right? Because we were previously using an old mod that has now become, I guess, compatible again. Or, like, someone took over the same coding. So these roads that were originally placed in as, like, bus lines and stuff, that's all back. Um, I think in between episodes, what I'll do is probably change... You know, I'll go through the entire city because it'll be very time-consuming and a little bit boring. But I'll, I'll get all the roads kind of back in working order. But, uh, yeah, for starters, let's jump in. Let's have some fun. Let's take over one of these areas here. Um, get our tram tracks in. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be so crazy. Um, okay. So we don't have the world of room. And because these roads are part of this uh, asset right here, what I think we're going to need to do is either put our trams over here in this spot. There's quite a hill over here, so I'm inclined not to use that. Get it inclined? So it's, it's a hill, right? Huh? Oh gosh, terrible. Oh, I'm sorry. Terrible puns. Um, I try though, and I hope someone laughs. 
Okay, so what I think we'll do instead is maybe we can take out this ram about, and then we can just take over this little section right here. I don't really want to disturb too much of the bike paths, but there might be some room in between down here to sneak through. Now, the only downside is I think we're going to end up losing part of our six-lane corridor. Unless we change where the trams kind of come through. Oh boy, oh boy, this is so much to consider. Okay, well... I mean, really the hard part is going to be finding pathways around here, but there's not a lot of traffic. Like, we're doing a pretty darn good job of getting people to use um, public transit. So downgrading to a four-lane road with tram tracks, you know, it's not the worst thing. So that, that could be what we'll end up doing here. All right, well, enough talking. Let's do something already. Oh, what in the heck's going on here? Why do we have broken pathways already? <clears throat> um, what are those even connected to? Possibly, is it this? But the trains are still coming in. Hmm. Well, I don't know what to believe. Um, this maybe needs to be deleted and then put back down. I was running into issues with this um, uh, in my Snowfall City, so I don't know if the asset's broken or not or what's going on, but we will monitor the situation. Okay. Let's pause the game. Let's bring the sun up. Let's get rid of this around events. Okay. So for starters, we need a way in. And if we take this approach, we lose these bike lanes. So what I'd instead like to do is maybe find a way underneath here, even if it's just dedicated tram tracks. But that could be kind of fun and cool. So unfortunately, the city, the way it's been built, is like... This stuff, it wasn't... Um, we didn't keep it in mind, right? Like, we didn't know we were getting trams. So it's kind of hard to plan for them, you know, ahead of time. But luckily, we're creative, and we'll have some fun here. Okay, so that could be a worse angle. It's not really the best, but we're kind of limited based on the uh, topography right here. Not to topography, the uh, the curve of that road, silly. That's the word I'm looking for. Well, why don't we try a different curve to that road, perhaps? Okay, so we'll have that come in straight, just for the old sake of symmetry. And then this... I mean, the game plan would be to curve it so it looks a bit nicer. Oh, that's good. I don't mind that it took out those buildings. I do mind, though, that it's not necessarily coming out straight this way. So why don't we go like that? Oh, yes. That's much better. Okay, now, we don't need this part to be tram tracks. So why don't we do that so we have a nice median right there. And that's fine by me. Or, you know what we could even do? So people actually use these as um, little pedestrian access, which is actually really cool. So we'll see people biking up and down little sidewalks here and then using them as a... Uh, you can put tram stops on them. So we can even sneak one in here. There's no real point, I guess, per se, for this area, but just, you know, for down the road. <clears throat> okay. So let's go through... And let's just, oh boy, that's not the part I wanted to do. Let's unfortunately take out you know, the bus lanes here, but let's add to our, now we're going to see pathing issues when you press play. Um, oh boy, here I am thinking it's going to solve itself. It should. Come on, find it, find it. The pathing should rewrite itself. There, you see it does find it. Now again, we might end up losing this six lane. Why? I mean, we could go across this four lane here. And there is this little... Okay, yeah, you know, let's do that. And silly me, clicking everywhere. Okay, so we'll keep the bus lanes, that means going this direction. And again, I'll go through the entire city afterwards and I'll just make sure that everything is, you know, neat and proper. You can see the reason why it has issues with the pathing is because it changes the style of the road, so the little bus stops have to move just slightly a little bit, you know? Okay. It would be ideal 
to have our trams, this is just for future work, right? To have our trams go this way as well. Oh man, that would be so cool. Oh, I really like this already. Oh, this is gonna be like, oh boy, I'm gonna have way too much fun doing this, you guys. You have no idea here. I would like that to eventually work, so maybe we can figure that out. Okay, I don't want to get too carried away. Let's let's work on the uh, task at hand here. Okay. Now, what would be the easiest way to go? We already have our first little road that kind of goes as a tunnel. That one should be right. Oh, here it is. Yeah, right here. If we upgrade that, actually, you know what? We run into the dam though. Um, is there anything stopping us from, say, going like this and opening up a new, like, you know, bridge slash corridor or something right here? Can we, oh my goodness, even if we just go as a bridge over this part, yeah, 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 yeah. I see what you're saying. Okay, so why don't we, oh boy, this requires a lot of work. Um, why don't we come up this way? go like this and then we can also have the tram tracks go straight so we can start opening up a network in here and then from now that I see it maybe both sides but we need to make a bridge over the highway and then that can connect to here and that can kind of make its way across and then connect over to this point oh my goodness so much to do all right so let's try moving this police station We're close to that one so we can kind of move a little bit more in this direction I think the game plan is to still make a um, kind of casino area over in this neck of the woods. Okay, so that's fine. Police station and fire station next to each other. And then one of these buildings is going to have to move, which is, again, totally fine. So why don't we just do that, and then we should have enough room here to sneak up. Okay, so up to 12, because I don't have my um, finer heights. Which breaks my heart, but unfortunately, it's still out of you. Alright, so we'll go down like that. I'd like to be ground level just so we can make some stops. I have a mod for um, elevated stops, but for some reason that's also not working. So I think there's a compatibility issue with a few of the mods right now, which is probably what's giving me the headaches in the first place. Okay, so what, uh, I mean, hmm, how do we get this? I want this to be symmetrical with something, but there's nothing really to get for, for reference. I think we'll have to go just off this bridge. All right, now I'm just doing this so that I get you know, grids or whatever. Something straight right here. And then let's go like that. Cool, that actually worked really well. Now, this hopefully has enough room to go up. It does. How wonderful. And then that's... What? On, did that line up? Holy smokes. How did that just happen? Alright, let's just curve those two. That was crazy. I don't know why, but that kind of stuff, I just love it. It impresses me so much. Okay. Now, can we do the same thing with this? Oh yes, very nice. <clears throat> okay, now we need to come through here with upgraded tram tracks, but we can't because of these buildings. So we'll just have to work this a little bit differently. And then just temporarily move these. I'm move everything over. So this is our little ambulance depot next to our clinic. Put that over here. Or, hmm, who knows about that? Uh, oh yes, that, that's fine. And then fire station. And then crematorium. There we go. And I'm, eh, actually, you know I don't think we need to pause again. Or we take it off the play. There we go, that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to pause it because I thought I had messed up the, uh, the power connections there, but you're okay. All 
right now the game plan for the university in terms of changes and this was just based on a suggestion and i'm terribly sorry i, t I totally forget who it was who suggested this i'll have to look it up um but instead of having parking lots right here um, we can move those all to the outskirts maybe you'd make a couple little zones right here and then inside what we could have instead is a little bit of a common area so kind of a park you know some benches a little library or something just somewhere for the students to kind of gather and just kind of you know like i'll meet you in the square you know, like that kind of thing so we can do that but let's first get our trams going through here and then we'll keep with our one-way theme but we'll go like this all right <clears throat> And I know I had originally decided I was going to start by doing our little transportation hub, little area there first, but you know, I guess we made our way here. So we won't change this just yet. Um, I think we'll get a tram line going first, and then we can kind of shift our attention over here. But we now have a way in. This will eventually become another bridge. I, I kind of see that happening as we develop this side of the world. Like, you know, that would go like this. We can even do that now, just to remind us. So let's bring this up. And not happening. Okay, let's brainstorm a different approach. Maybe we can go underneath. We can indeed. Okay, that's perfect. And then, I mean, this would, you know, just eventually go somewhere, right? Like, we'll have to bring trams up here. So we'll have a very intricate tram network. And the long-term goal is to kind of fill this area entirely in. Which seems crazy, but like, you know, definitely doable. And uh, I do really want to, I don't, I really haven't debated if it's going to be off camera or on camera, but I really do want to fix this area because there's just too much chaos, too much traffic over here. So that'll be something we'll, we'll keep an eye on. You let me know if you guys want to see it again. Because I know I've reworked this area a quadrillion times, if that's even a real number. All right, I really want to get trams through here. Oh my goodness, I'm so ambitious with the trams. Okay, so back over here. Over at our little tram headquarters. So for sure the tram network would go this way. I am positive of it. And then <clears throat> in order to preserve the, um, the bike lanes, just because that was the original goal there, we will shift, I know these are one ways. We're actually going to shift this to two-way tram traffic. I know we have buses going through here, so that might, you know, change some of the routes around a little bit. But let's just do that for the moment. Okay, we don't necessarily have to go all the way down this way. We're just trying to get our, you know, ourselves over to this district. And so trams come in this way. They also go up this way. And then say from right about here, let's break across to tram only track like this. That connects like that. And then now the game plan is to make a series of kind of like looping points, just like at this bus station. And then we can get like, you know, a whole bunch of tram traffic in here. And so we just, you know, have a lot of lines like this, right? And we gotta be careful about how we route them, otherwise we're gonna end up with a little bit too much traffic. So let's plan this out here. So we can have this as a two-way in, which I think is totally fine. <clears throat> I think what we should do is route people to the middle and then go down like that. So have this as a one-way point like this. Oh, I'm sorry, I meant to do this actually, sorry, with these tracks. So that's just a one-way, so you're forced to go down this way, which is fine by me. And then maybe what we could do instead is have you know the trams leave hmm there's an idea okay so let's put our oh the one-way arrows ah interesting you don't get them on in the other view fascinating okay well that's i mean we'll keep it in that but anyway yeah so um are we getting forced in here or forced away what is the game plan yeah, okay, so let's go down and then out. That probably helps, I think, get the best with traffic. Okay. So that's the game plan. And I think because we're leaving, 
Oh, that creates traffic lights, darn it. Okay, so we'll have to make these as little ways in. It still creates traffic lights. Well, no, actually, it just creates traffic lights right here because of that road, silly. I knew that. Okay, so I think we're fine. <clears throat> so then that means, instead, what we're doing is we're rooting traffic to go inward and then down. Okay, so a bit of a different game plan, but essentially the same thing. This might even be more efficient. I just don't want to have a street full of um, turning trams that kind of, you know, affect everybody. Okay, these all go on the right way. Nope. Forgot already which way we were going. And then, I mean, we could probably get one more possibly in. But then that's probably going to be a little bit too chaotic, so let's go up here. Double check the uh, directions again, and of course, and oh goodness, that's what threw me off. Okay, there we go. Now we'll definitely unzone in here because we don't need anybody living. And I don't think anyone's gonna want to live here because of how loud it's gonna be. So why don't we move these guys out of the way as well? And for the sake of some jobs, let's get that. Get some commercial right there put commercial in over here I think we might be able to sneak a back road just for the sake of like you know services and, and whatnot right it's kind of like that oh yes that actually works very nicely even that now what's stopping us really from going like this We got the space for it. Yeah, that's better. Get parking now, plus the uh, plus the ability to drive. So high density. Maybe you know what? Maybe let's keep this low density. And that way, this won't really feel as as trapped in. You know, maybe even right here we can do low density. Low density commercial. Okay, this is making of something kind of neat here. Let's put the speed back on, just so we can get these buildings to go back in our, you know, the type that we designed them towards. And then, you know, from here we've got room and options to kind of sneak everything around. And actually, I'm going to put this as a bike lane. So it's a pretty good staging ground right here. Now, I mean, I don't know, I mean, should we, it should this eventually become, hmm. We may have to rethink how the bike network kind of works through here. I'll, I'll ponder on that. You guys let me know what you think too. Because the, the other option would be to make this road right here um, for trams. The same way we kind of have that one, right? I think that might be a better approach because we do have a lot of bike lanes already. So it's not like we're really losing that much. But just in, in order to get a lot of traffic moving properly through this area, I think it would be kind of smart to have a double, you know, double direction. So we'll put that here, just as a little bit of a placeholder to remind us. And then this could also, you know, be a bike, you know, um, a bus lane or something like that. Or this could be bike lanes, and this could be upgraded bus lanes. Who knows, right? Like, there's just many options here. Okay, so let's put our tram depot in. And let's just put that kind of out side of the city right now for the moment. Just put that right there. I think it's kind of fine just where it is. And then we can kind of hide this little area in trees to get rid of these little imperfections in the road. But I, I just need this, you know, really anywhere for the moment. This can just be even placeholder. Okay, so let's move this over. Perfect. And now let's draw our very first tram line. This is so exciting, I can't even believe it. Now, because of the way this is set up, um, we'll do one line that falls back on itself. So, where shall we start? We gotta start at the hub, and let's just work our way down. And I'm gonna pause again. There are, you can see, issues here with the trains. I believe these two are related to one another. So what I'm tempted to do is to delete the trains, um, put the lines in again, just to kind of see if I can improve on them. And then maybe at the same time we can do a uh, like an interchange or a um, sorry, an overhaul to this little rail uh, you know area. 
just kind of move over to a different type of station. My goodness, so much to do. We have so many plans. Okay. But it's good the city's working again, right? That's the, the most important thing. So let's just, you know, pick any old spot. We'll start right there. This will be, you know, our end point. Or heck, you know what? Why don't we do this right here? Okay, so we're coming down this way. We'll stop where there's going to be a bus stop. So that way people can kind of share. <clears throat> okay, so... Maybe we don't need to go to all the stops. I find with the trams, you don't really need to... I mean, you can have a fair amount of spacing in between the, uh, the lines. Okay. Just following this. And, you know, we'll stop here simply because we're right next to that station. Oh, did we... Um, oh goodness, goodness gracious me, we totally forgot to... You silly boy. Alright, now what direction is smarter for us to take? Why don't we go straight first so that we'll figure out the bus lanes and everything there afterwards. And then we'll just cut across like that. And then just hit that. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we'll just click on that to get us back in action. And stop, say right about here. Make your way up here. Excellent. And then now this. There's no reason to put stops here. We don't really need anything yet. Down the road, we'll eventually, um, you know, make a reason. I'll put one here just in case you work right here. Maybe we can put a building or two as well. The whole point of this really is just to get to the university. And we'll put some more pedestrian kind of connections in. So let's just, you know, stop a few places here. Cool. And then we'll just make our way back. Sounds like a plan to me. Oops. Um, and the beauty is you can change these lines, obviously the same way the other ones are. Changeable, and you get, you know, fun trams to reflect that color as well. And I've already gone ahead and downloaded some uh, custom trams, because I'm a bit of a nut that way. And really, like, since I'm using Shadow Play, it's like, you know, you can tell the game is much smoother. And we're now filming in 60 frames. Ooh, very, very exciting. Okay, so that is now a complete line. I'm going to change the color now. I'm going to make it red. And then, oh my goodness. I honestly, I'm so excited. This is just, this is crazy. So what we can even do is ride the tram. Oh my gosh, let's do that, please. Okay, so let's patiently sit here and wait and watch some trams come. And patiently wait some more. Yes! And for you Toronto fans, look what we got. Huh? Very nice. I hope that looks familiar. And just you wait for the next one. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Yes, look at these! Oh yes, the new updated streetcars for Toronto as well. How awesome and grandiose is that? Okay, can we hop on board one of these? Take a first person here. Let's pause that. Follow, first person, one speed. All right, let's rock and roll. Okay, let's do this. Yes, and hopefully it rains. That would just make my day, even though you don't normally ask for bad weather. Wow, this is awesome. Who would have thought? Look at this, I never thought I'd even live to see the day, but we got trams in the city of Lakewood. And not only that, the city of Lakewood is up and running again. This is the best news ever. I am so excited. So yeah, the long-term goal for the trams, and we'll kind of space them out over the next few episodes, doesn't have to be, you know, all at once, is we'll slowly start adding more and more lines, and we'll just kind of tackle it, you know, just, you know, a little bit at a time type thing. So I really want to just, yeah, do a big transportation overhaul, because we want to change the island, we want to switch over some of the uh, train stations, you know, the configuration already. We want to make, I guess, you know, the train lines a little bit more you know, efficient, because we've got some train traffic that's kind of piling up on the line, so. But, I mean, like, it's, it's fun. It's, it's a lot of fun just creating all these things and then finding ways to improve them. I kind of enjoy, I think, that the most about this game. At least that's what I've learned after playing for about a year now. And I can't get over how long we've been building this city for. We're, like, 
We've literally been working on this for like 10 or 11 months now, which is just incredible. And look at this view. All right, so we'll take note as well. Um, even though we're... Actually, this was a two-lane before, so... I us say traffic, not too bad. That was kind of what I was trying to say there. I thought this was a six-lane that we converted, but... It is just the two-lane that we had before. So already quite a fair number of people waiting at the uh, stops, which is very good. And my goodness, I'd be so nervous to be that truck driver on that hill right there. This amount of traffic right here, that's a little bit worrisome. Maybe I have to look at, uh, you know... Ways of improving some of our highways or something. <clears throat> oh no, I don't really think we have a bad layout for, for traffic or anything, you know? I'm pretty happy with our, our city. I don't want to pick favorites, I just happen to like the direction that we're going with the um, our Snowfall City. And unfortunately when I'm first person in the streetcars at night, the lights kind of shift a little bit and kind of flicker. So. Just to be kind of, you know, on the safe side of here. Let's just go like that, bring the lights up. Less annoying. Okay, so we're almost at our transportation hub. You can see there's the uh, train station on the right that was um, causing us also some trouble. And it's like, you don't actually think about it, but our city, it's, it's on quite a slope. There's quite a few areas that are just, you know, some pretty decent hills. And like, it's been a while since we've actually seen the city at this, um, like this way, right? I haven't done really a tour on one of the trains or one of the buses in ages. So this is nice, and expect this a little bit more often when we um, start adding more lines in. So maybe we'll add a line, and then the next episode we can take a little tour on it. Because I've actually I've had so many of you request a um, a little first-person tour here and there. And I feel really bad for not doing some earlier, but you know we'll, we'll do this a little bit more often. Just in terms of like, you know, nostalgia and the feels and stuff, it is so wild to see all these TTC vehicles just kind of, you know, even go buses and stuff on the road, right? I love it. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll, uh, yeah, make our way back to the uh, transportation hub, and I think we'll jump ship and we'll, uh, we'll end the episode there. But it is absolutely great to be back in this city. And it's just so weird, because I'm so used to seeing all the snow and stuff. And I honestly, I didn't even know if this was going to be up and running again. I thought maybe that was it. Maybe we had our fun with Lakewood and we just wouldn't be able to resurrect it. But shame on me for thinking these terrible things because we're back up and running. And just in terms of the um, the balance and the load and the grand scheme of it all. So what I've done is I have started recording episodes for the European city. It's my plan to do maybe the first like three or four episodes. I'm going to record them ahead of time. And then I'm going to start releasing them then, just so I can kind of keep up a little bit in terms of, uh, you know, juggling all my time and everything. And then this city, Lakewood, will kind of make this almost like a weekend project. So it's not going to be episodes all the time for this, but I definitely still want to work on it. And then just kind of going front row and center, we'll make sure we're still working a lot on, you know, the European city and the, um, uh, the snowy city. Which I don't know if we have a name for that yet, but I mean, just so we're on the same kind of, you know, page here. So let's hop out right here perfect and let's take one more sneaking peek at the uh, city right here and we didn't get any rain or fog or anything like that unfortunately but um i guess we'll see that the next time around so now that it's daytime let's maybe sneak a peek over here let's kind of see this area again it's kind of cool i enjoy this little train yard i get rid of all these sequels though and i'll show you guys how to make this too in terms of like you know prop anarchy and like you know what to use and what assets and this and that but uh, yeah, I just wanted us to have a little bit of a freight yard so we can kind of build and expand on this. This is to kind of deal with some of our industry or industrial demand. And you know, traffic's not too bad. We got a little bit of trucks coming in. I think this maybe could be fixed. We could possibly have this exit directly into this road. Maybe make some uh, changes in that sense. Maybe we'd have a second avenue break off. Who knows? I know lots of, uh, you know, lots of options, lots of ideas, so much to do. And my goodness, it is so good to be back. Okay, guys, I will ramble on forever. Let's just head back over here and see our trams in action. Man, oh man, that's too cool. And so we gotta, yeah, we'll keep an eye on traffic. And, you know, if needs be, we can change some of the directions, you know, with one ways and that kind of stuff. But I think so far, mission accomplished. And then what we could theoretically do is make the tram only track, and that could cross over, or just something, right? Like, I, I know we just did a... Um, a rework over here, but that was before the trams came out, right? So this area could change, um, you know, so nothing set in stone, as you guys definitely know. 
Anyway, let me know your thoughts, and um, it's great to be back. So well, I'm looking forward to talking to some of you guys again, so drop me a comment. All right, guys, until the next one, take care of yourselves, and definitely check out the other content. All right, spread the word, tell your friends. I, I really do want to grow this channel, too. Like, in the last few weeks, you know, I've been really trying to put some more effort into it. Hope you guys have noticed that, too. So, you know, let's take it to the next level. Let's have some more fun with this. Okay, guys, I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves.